So in this video I'm going to be showing how to uh, heal fell hounds on heroic and normal for druids. So um, I've got this little symbol, druid little marker, to show where you want to be standing and I've put little marks of where you want to be standing. If you're doing this on heroic and normal you want to be having a stack point for the whole whole group because for the first, at least the first 20 seconds of the fight you want to stack up both the dogs because there's no reason not to. So this little blue point here is where you want all of your group to stand apart from the tanks obviously because the tanks don't want to face the dogs towards the raid because the dogs do cleave in front of them. So one tank faces the red one towards there, purple one towards there and all the raid stacks on the blue. So the reason you all want to be stacked is that the dogs have to stay stacked for the siphon. So if you blood this on pull you'll get a siphon within about 20 seconds or so. And if it's on heroic you'll also get the um the red swirls you have to dodge but that will come before so if you get the red swirls obviously you just want to be not using any cooldowns on the swirls because hopefully all your raid dodges it but the main thing you want to do is as a druid to put down your effervescence you want to put it down on this green just make sure a little outline of what it's going to be it wants you want to get as many raiders inside that green circle as possible if you're in the talents germination and cultivation you want to be double rejuving both of the tanks because they're going to be taking a lot of damage and just life blooming one of them and making sure um, you're iron barking them if you see them taking a lot of damage because hounds for tanks is really really hard to tank and the damage coming in is really unpredictable so if you can give them an iron bark more likely it will save their uh, life a couple of times so if you're stacking dogs for the whole fight you want to make sure that it, if in flame corruption comes in you're staying on this blue marker here so that you can heal all of your uh, group because more likely the range will spread out for in flame so that you know they aren't all stacked but as a healer you just want to make sure you stay in the middle so that you can also heal the melee who will be spread across either dogs and you can also heal the ranged you want to be saving your trank for um, obviously siphon corruption because that's when the majority of damage is going to come in so um, when you start this fight what you really want to be doing is using innovate at pull putting down your effervescence because your effervescence is about like 40,000 mana, 40k mana which is just a really big way so if you want to put your effervescence down then and try and rejuve as many targets as possible then when siphon comes in use your trank and if you are running velens uh, use your velens with essence of guinea and just heal everyone up for the inflame but yeah the, the fight doesn't take that long now because you can stack the dogs obviously and you can heal through it really really well so I'll just put the symbol of where you want to be standing and if the dogs do get, if the tanks can't handle it or the raid can't handle it and you have to split the dogs maybe before in flame, you just want to situate yourself in between the two dogs and heal as many targets as possible making sure the tanks have double rejuves because the tanks are going to be taking docked all the time and taking lots of damage so if you have your hots on them you're going to be getting a lot of HPS. But yeah, you just want to make sure you're in between the two groups and if you're stacking the dogs you're in with the main group and your effervescence is covering as many targets as possible. I'll show now... Um, some gameplay of me on hounds as rest of druid and you can kind of see what I've been explaining in this video and yeah see you in the next one trank now heal everyone up get everyone up to full make sure you're spread so now get ready to stack everyone stack up now and get ready for weight of darkness you can stack the dogs back up now as well stack the dogs back up if you want okay stack for the fear good well done Desolate gazes, don't stack them over the top of each other. Uh -oh. Okay, now split them, split them, just split them, split them now. We've got people dying. Split them. Split them, split them, split them. And now get ready for siphon, so stay stacked. Stay stacked, siphon, and get ready to dodge the swirls. Get ready to dodge the swirls. Get ready to dodge swirls. Dodge swells any second. Dodge swells now. Don't die to it. Okay, heal everyone up. Consuming sphere. Everyone spread out. Everyone spread. Spread, 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 spread. Spread out, everyone. End flame corruption, so stay spread. Stay spread. And flame, so everyone should be spread out. Uh, anyone got any healing CDs left? Use them. Tide, Link, anything, I don't care. 
Stack for the fears now. Stack for the fears. Good. Use any healing cooldowns we got left. Sorry, Mr. Monk. Mrs. Monk. Oh, Mrs. Oh, sorry, even more. <laughs> You know what to say, women and children first. Oh. Kek? Excuse me? Arre. K Arre. stack. Uh, you shout or anything now. Siphon. Any healing cooldowns we got left? Use them. Gloomy. Anything. Heal up two tanks. Did we rescue him? Uh, yeah, do it. Can you stack at 10 person? Yes, we do. Stack them now, yes. stack them now, yes, stack yes. them now. We don't have anything going. Stack them now. Everyone stack up for the fear. Get ready for the fear. Stack for the fear. And kill them. Good, well done. Kill them now. Okay, now on to command. 